Subscribe, like, and share. Super Senia. Hello, Super Friends. Super Senia here. Today, I am going to launch my 13 minute safety training videos. So, this will consist of different topics covered by OSHA or Occupational Safety and Health Administration. So this includes rules and regulations and standards in regards to safety. So I am an authorized OSHA trainer for construction and general industry. And I am a certified safety professional. With that said, I'm going to show you today as an initial training PPE or personal protective equipment. Today, we're going to talk about eye protection, head protection, and hearing protection. We don't want anything on our face, on our eyes. We don't want to lose our eyesight or lose our hearing or hit our head and um, break a skull, you know. So, with that said, we're going to start with the head protection. So, here is a... Card hat. I have my respirator under the hard hat. <laughs> so, hard hat. This is to protect our head from overhead hazard and side impacts. So, there's different cl uh, classification or categories of the hard hat. You can have class G for general and E for electrical hazards. Um, first and foremost, you need to check if the hard hat meets the requirement. So what's the requirement? Requirement is for it to be certified by ANSI or American National Standard Institute. So that's the uh, organization that check and certify PPE. So you got to properly wear your PPE. So the standard for um, hard hat is ANSI, ANSI Z 89.1. So you can see here, this, this has the adjustable ratchet. Got the suspension underneath. We have the date of manufacture on the visor. You gotta check. So it got an arrow and embossed um, dates, numbers, where you can see when it was manufactured so it's important that you know when it was made so that you'll know when to stop using it so it lasts about five years and after five years you have to discard it the suspension needs to be replaced every year depending on your use so you gotta make sure that it, you are wearing it properly seating properly on your head and then adjust the ratchet uh, the back so not too tight you don't want to stop the circulation in your head that's about it for hard hat so to test this you gotta press it a little bit like this and it should go back to its original shape. If it doesn't, then that means it's brittle already and you need to discard it. You always have to inspect your PPE before use. Look for cracks, dirt. You have to clean it properly, of course. And then you have to look for deformation and other uh, signs of defects. You can attach a strap, chin strap, if you are going on a windy environment. There are different colors of hard hat. So you can see here there's brown also. And there's different colors like red, um, yellow, green. So it depends on your company what you want to do. For identification, it can be used to identify a different group of people, you know. 
the safety can be green, management can be white, spotters can be red, stuff like that. You have to decide. So you have to put this properly inside the card, the shell, so that it would fit properly. So I'm going to show you how it's done. You can see the slots here, and this is the one, the suspension. Just gonna put the so it all depends on the manufacturer how they make their hard hat, but this is how it is done. It is so you not you need to hear the click. Need to be strong to do this. <laughs> so find the slots, adjust properly the suspension inside, fix it, and that's it. You got your heart out ready. All right. Next is our safety glasses. There are different types of safety glasses. Of course, we have the tinted one for outdoor use, and then we have the clear. <coughs> clear one for indoor. We also have on um, indoor outdoor, which is a little, um, have a color in it already like a little tint so depending on the prescription glasses that you use you can also have over the glass uh, safety glasses what we call OTG These prescription glasses I use this this is my usual everyday um, glasses over the glass prescription over the glass safety glass so do I look cool now all right you can use tinted or clear so it got to fit properly and has to cover your eyes properly if you have a narrower prescription glasses like this, you can wear this one, a mirror type, over the glass. Hmm, see how cool I'll look like a bumblebee now. <laughs> so that's it. This, these are all the different uh, over the glass safety glasses you can get from Amazon, Granger, 3M. 3M, this is what I get from a conference that I went to, uh, the NSC Safety Congress. I got all this cool glasses as a sample I know. So, and I've tried that these are really good safety glasses so this is one type the outdoor indoor outdoor which have a little tint on it already so you can use it indoor outdoor so the um, standard that applies here it has to meet the ANSI requirements and it has to have the markings of ANSI Z87. So you can see all this on this side of the temple. Sometimes it is in front of the lens, but usually on the temple side. Okay, so this one 
have a foam enclosing the eyes so it protects more of the the breeze that are coming so what why do you use eye protection anyway so eye protection is um, required if you're working in an area where there's an eye hazard anything that can get into your eye like construction debris dust chemicals that can get in your eyes woodworking construction is it cool so all these cool glasses right it doesn't have to look ugly <laughs> so and next we will go with the hearing protection hearing protection is required when you are exposed to a noisy environment there are several different types of earplugs these ones are the the reusable ones these are the reusable So there's proper way of inserting it and this is like this you put it in here you put in your ear like that pull the top side of the ear and insert it by rotating it slowly There you have it, easy. This one is similar and it got its strap already attached to it. So you don't lose it. These are reusable. You can um, wash it and clean it afterwards. After you this use it is the case to keep your earplugs clean. When you remove it, you just need to pull it out slowly, gently. And that's about it. That's all folks for today. This is what we call personal protective equipment. You can use for head protection, eye protection, hearing protection, the earplug, hearing protection. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoy our safety training, little safety training. This is our 13 minute safety video that I'm going to do from now on. So um, I hope you like this video and if you do, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Super Senior, peace and love. Stay safe, everyone.